family will be happy. Bacon goes with everything, right? Including soda, right? That's straight up Elmer's glue. <laughs> okay, everybody, today we're off for another adventure. Today, we have decided to go do some taste testing. But, but first, we are gonna go check out the brand new movie that just got released in theaters. We're gonna go check out Dumbo. We're gonna get some of our Disney fix in. Also, we're gonna go get some Hawaiian food. I'm tired of this cold weather. We're gonna go over to this place in Salt Lake. They have a few different restaurants around Salt Lake called Mo Betta's Hawaiian Grill. We've had it a few times, it is delicious. And then, to cap it all off, we are going to go to this place called Rocket Fizz, where they sell different kinds of soda, some very extravagant kinds, I might say. Rocket Fizz has old classic vintage candies, bottled sodas, all different kinds of flavors, good flavors and funky stuff you'll never wanna drink, but this guy right here thinks we should get some nasty flavors and taste test them. Some extreme flavors. I wouldn't call them nasty. Flavors that you wouldn't normally have Barf, in sodas. Var vomit. <laughs> alien poop. We, we might try butter, we might Peanut try butter it. and jelly. I would not call those just interesting. I would call those nasty. The thing that's going to make this interesting is this one right here. I don't have a bad gag reflex. I just, oh, I prefer not to try something gross, but no. I freaking puked off a hiccup the other day, so <laughs> she's this pregnant. One, she's pregnant. This okay? one wants me to try vomit soda. I didn't say we're gonna try some extreme ones, not necessarily vomit. We're gonna have to clean up after mommy, huh? <laughs> she's yeah. pregnant, so this is gonna be interesting. I had one before, and it was butter, and, and I didn't like it. And he got a <laughs> for his. Out. Jackson's birthday last year, we tried a birthday cake soda and a butter flavored soda. The birthday cake soda was good. It was. No. I mean, it was not your typical soda flavor. No. But we're going to go get some food real quick. We're going to go check out Dumbo. Then we're going to go do some soda taste testing. We made it to Mo Betta's. We are so excited to try some food. You want some chicken, beef, or pork? Beef. 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 They're. Actually, I want. I want pork. Your pork? All of it's good. Oh, the pork's amazing. We got our food. We're sitting down. We got some chicken. It is absolutely amazing. Mm. We got three different, yeah, three different types of chicken. We have this grilled type. I can't. What's it called? Pahilu. Pahilu. Here's teriyaki. We got teriyaki, and then we also got uh, some pork. We got the uh, kuala pork. It's really good food. So yeah, the the kuala pork is the reason why I come here. It's fantastic. We got some brown rice, and oh, and also this macaroni salad it's to die for. Mm. So good. So we're done at Mo Betta's. It was delicious. Definitely recommend it. There's several throughout the Salt Lake Valley. Come check it out. The Hawaiian food is amazing. All right, so now we're gonna go over. We're gonna run over to the movie theater, get some tickets. While we wait for the movie to start, we're probably gonna run down to Rocket Biz and grab some of those unique sodas to try out. Uh. Uh. Barf, 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 barf. We have made it to the Gateway Mall in Salt Lake City where we are going to try some of those unique flavors of soda at the Rocket Fizz. If you do get a chance to come to Salt Lake City, come check out this, this mall. It's been recently renovated. They got some really cool outdoor things. So it's not too popular in the winter, early spring like it is now. But they got fire pits, they got seesaws, they got little dining swing tables. It's actually really cool to come check out. Coming up to Rocket Fizz now. Rocket Fizz! I'm, I'm excited for this one. I know Emily's not too excited about it, but I am. I'm always a, I'm always up for another adventure, to try new things. So they have some flavors that are actually sound pretty good, and some that just don't sound so good. We 
did choose our sodas, it's gonna be a great taste test. But here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go watch Dumbo. We're gonna let you know how that goes. And then we're gonna go home and try these out. So. Uh, no, I'm not gonna <laughs> try the ones you picked out. Here's the, here's the deal. We're all gonna try a little bit of every single one. Okay? No! Just a little sip of every one. All right? No, I don't like the one. <laughs> this is gonna be fun. All right, guys. Well, we made it back home, and I have to admit, it is the next day. We actually had so much fun watching Dumbo. It was a great movie. We even got ourselves one of these really cool souvenir tins. The movie was great. It was really good. So without further ado, we're gonna go ahead and start our taste testing. I'm gonna go ahead and show you all the sodas that we bought. We got Barf. It's this pink flavor, and I'm gonna. I also have to say real quick, Emily is having a hard time with this. You got to give her some props for trying this. She has already gagged a bunch waiting or just hearing the names of these. So, Emily, you're a champ. <laughs> Under barf description says, sorry, honey, great chunky flavor. <laughs> Bacon. Y'all get your fixings. Laurels. This is strawberries and cream, a very mild flavor. Tropical soda. It's a the Smuggler's Run. Another more eccentric one, we have the Bloody Nose. It's a red soda with the picture on there. You can see how it is, uh, how it's portrayed. It looks like it's gonna be interesting. And last but not least, certainly not least, probably the one that sounds the grossest to me would be the Pimple Pop. <laughs> the Pimple Pop. Uh, <laughs> This one, I have to admit, I try everything once, but this one has got me a little... I don't know how I'm going to take this. We'll give it a shot, though. I do try everything once, so here it goes. For uh, backup, for Emily and maybe even myself and the kids, we have our very own Wreck-It Ralph tin. We use this as our, our puke bucket at home. Everybody's got a puke bucket. A Ralph but, bucket. But this is the Ralph bucket here, so... Definitely uh, might get some use today. We'll see. But we got uh, our new Dumbo tin and we got our new Ralph or our Ralph tin standing by. We're going to start easy. Laurel wanted to try her own very first pick, which is strawberries and cream. Laurel, here we go. Soda, but a, maybe a few times, so. <laughs> it's kind of yummy. Kind of yummy? yummy? Uh -huh. All right. Actually, that's pretty good. All right, Mommy, you're up. Easy. Can I pick Very one good. Now? All right. All right, my turn. Here's the uh, strawberries and cream. Mm. That's good. Nice and smooth, as, as you would expect. Next up, we have Jackson's pick. He decided to go straight for the barf. <laughs> Buke. The great chunky flavor. Where we have Ralph on standby. <laughs> Laurel's gonna try first. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Jackson, here you go. Give it a shot. Actually, um, good. Good. Try it. Try it again. Try a big sip. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> try a big sip. Aftertaste. What does it taste like? <laughs> does it taste like barf? Yeah. <laughs> Jackson says barf tastes like barf. Mommy, it's your turn. <laughs> well, it's gonna make mommy barf. Okay. Make... This Stop. is peach. It's peach. BJ, I don't want it. <laughs> I think I've got his reaction. That's not bad. It's not. It's not that bad. All right. She says it's not that bad. Here we go. My turn. I told you. Barf. Oh, no. Oh, no. The aftertaste. Oh, it's there. I already have the aftertaste. Uh. <laughs> I choose the good thing. Oh, yeah. No. Okay, so I don't know what they put in it, but there's like, it's, it's like foamy. grapefruit. It's foamy at the end. Uh, that's gross. You wanted the barf? Ugh. I wouldn't say it tastes like barf, but it's, it's pretty gross. It's not. It's not my favorite. 
Next up, Emily's choice, we have bacon. Oh, dang. Dang, girl. She's putting down the bacon. <laughs> What's it taste like? Is it good or not so good? Not so good. <laughs> I think her facial expressions told us a lot there. All right, Jackson, you're up. It tastes like a, a rotten peppermint. Really? <laughs> Interesting. You, bacon is one of your favorite foods. Oh. Uh, <laughs> oh, it, smell, this it smells like a dog <laughs> treat with chocolate. <laughs> oh, that smells like a dog treat. <laughs> oh. <laughs> No. <laughs> I feel like I just drank a bacon dog treat. <laughs> Disgusting. No. Do you like bacon or barf more? <laughs> barf wasn't that bad, probably because I already had the aftertaste in my mouth. Well, I'm going to do some bacon here. <laughs> Not being a soda. That's bad bacon. Bad bacon. Bad bacon. Ugh, it doesn't get any better. Oh, gross. Bloody nose. <laughs> and just saying bloody nose does not help Emily at all. Maybe. Ooh, how does it taste? Is it good? She likes it. She likes the bloody nose. All right, Jackson. Here we go. <laughs> mm, that's pretty good. That, 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 I think that's in the lead now. It's in the lead? Ah. <laughs> She's like cherry in the background of my mouth. <laughs> it's a Shirley Temple, okay? Uh. Don't make any noises. Okay? <laughs> okay. It's good, but you can't think of the picture while you're drinking it. What picture? This picture? Gross Gus's bloody nose. Here oh, we go. Don't say it. Oh, yeah, she's right. You got to get the picture out of your head. Your brain plays tricks with you, and you, you take a look at the picture right before you drink it, and that's what you think you're drinking, but yeah, it's good, but... Man, I like the You want to try it again? I, I, didn't, I didn't think of the picture. Oh, good. I just, I just... The Smuggler's Run, which was Emily's pick. It said tropical. I thought I was safe. Oh. Wow. <laughs> uh -oh. What's it taste like? Poop. Vile. Did it taste like poop? Vile. <laughs> no, I got I got on some hot on my tongue. No. Both the kids had an interesting reaction. The one said it was like fire, and the other one got some hot on his tongue. I'm I'm kind of interested to see this one. <laughs> oh, <laughs> it smells like glue. <laughs> That's straight up Elmer's glue <laughs> and crayons. <laughs> Elmer's glue and crayons. A definite Actually. no. There's coconut in there. Here's coconut. Now you're gonna know it tastes good. Well, it's the smuggler's run. Here we go. It's not, you can definitely taste the coconut. It's not the best. It, whatever's with it isn't good. Yeah, I, I wouldn't describe it as tropical at all. It doesn't, doesn't, I wouldn't describe it as tropical at all. All right, guys, last but certainly not least, this is the one that I have been dreading a lot. We have gross Gus's the pimple pop. Mm. All right, Laurel, you're up first, my sweet. I think it pops in your mouth. You like it? She likes it. What's it taste like? Strawberry. Strawberries. <laughs> Ooh. I'm afraid of, it's gonna pop in my mouth. No, it's it, just. Nothing to pop. It's just liquid. Just soda. Um. <laughs> actually, that's. Um. I think that is. In second place now. Second place? The pimple pop? Ew. Here we go. We got Ralph on standby again. Don't don't make popping noise or 
while I'm drinking. Please. Pop. Okay. <laughs> Son. <laughs> it's like a funky cream soda, so it's not bad. I will honestly say when you bought it, I purposely did not look at the picture and I've been avoiding it since. So are you saying this is the first time you've looked at the picture? Yes, because I saw bloody nose and I've been sick to the stomach over it. <laughs> oh yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> if that was in my head, right, it would not taste, take no. You gotta take another sip now. He already me. <laughs> <laughs> no, get it. One more sip. Big, big gulp. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Next. Like the, like the bloody nose, it's the picture. And once you have that picture in your mind... Uh, here we go. It's foamy. Oh, gosh. No. No. <laughs> no. You cannot look at the picture right before you drink it. by far the worst oh gosh all right um so that was all the sodas i gotta ask the kids laurel what was your favorite and what was your least favorite i like the strawberries and the cream all right so your favorite was strawberries and cream what was your least favorite most yucky the pimple pop jackson oh what was your favorite and what was your least favorite um the first is bloody nose. Okay, so Jackson is saying bloody nose. <laughs> what was his favorite? What was your least favorite? The bacon. The bacon. You know what? I might be agreeing with him on that one. Oh, why? Why? <laughs> oh. <laughs> it just smells, it tastes like burnt bacon, if anything. Burnt bacon and dog food. Ugh. Oh. You said it was All right. dog food. Emily, oh. Uh, Emily, what was your favorite and what was your least favorite? Don't look at the picture. Don't think about it, which is really hard to do. But besides strawberries and cream, which obviously is the most just normal, bloody nose was the best tasting. If you can't, if you could keep that out of your mind, it's hard to do now that I see the picture a lot. The worst was absolutely bacon. The bacon was just straight in the dog aisle, shoving your mouth full of dog treat. It's horrible. My favorite I was probably the bloody nose. You can't, you just can't think of the picture that they have. I'll show you the picture one more time. You can't think of that picture while you're drinking it because then you're going to think you're drinking blood. My least favorite was probably the pimple popper because I could not get the picture of pimple pus out of my mind as I was drinking this. I nearly puked and I don't puke very easily. That is just disgusting. But I do have to say I have two honorable mentions for my least favorite. Honorable mention number one would be the barf because again, the mental picture and plus they have the great chunky flavor on the side. Ugh. And then second honorable mention would be the bacon. This one, it was just gross. It was just, it didn't taste like bacon. It tastes like burnt bacon and dog food. So anyways, that was our fun little trip to Rocket Fizz. We, each had, we all had a really fun time going there and trying new things. If you do like what you've seen here, go ahead and comment below. Give us a like and go ahead and subscribe as well. It will greatly help our channel. Also, if there are any flavors, if you've ever been to Rocket Fizz that you'd like us to try, comment down below. There are other eccentric ones. There's dinosaur dung. dung, there's pickle soda, ranch dressing soda, Martian poop, all, you know, pumpkin pie. They got some nice pie ones, but um, anyways, so let us know if you liked what you've seen and we'll, we'll maybe do another one for you. Thanks, Thanks for, for watching. watching. We'll, we'll see, see you real, real soon. soon. Ugh. <laughs> ah. Ah. I need some strawberry. All of us keep having like after burps of a mixture of disgusting flavors. Ugh. I can't tell you while I've been filming how many times I've like 
had a burp come up and it just whoa, makes me gag again. Ugh. Hey, we could make a real gag reel. Bacon goes with everything, right? Including soda, right? That's straight up Elmer's glue. <laughs> also, if there are any future favors, if you've ever been to Rocket... Oh, gosh. 